I'm Joseph Q. And this here, this is Mrs. Q. She's never cooked beef ribs before, but I got a foolproof method, and I'm going to show you how. It's called Sue Beef Q. Sit down, hang tight, we're cooking something good today. here today is a uh, this is an immersion circulator otherwise known as a, uh, a sous vide machine um, these can be purchased nowadays for you know under $200 uh, a couple companies out there like a Nova or this Gourmet uh, unit that we're using today um, ultimately what this is is um, it, what it's doing is it's taking this water bath to a precise temperature uh, and it's holding it at this temperature as you notice uh, the water is circulating and continuously circulating through, uh, uh, through the circulator itself and what we've done today is we, as we set this to 160 degrees and uh, what this is going to enable us to do is to cook really low and slow with our beef ribs today. Uh, it's really going to break down those uh, connective tissues and uh, the muscle fibers that are in here. Uh, take this really tough product and uh, turn it into something really awesome. Uh, so what my assistant here, uh, Mrs. Q, uh, what she's going to do is she's going to uh, take some Worcestershire sauce and uh, she's going to apply it to the top here of our uh, beef ribs. Now these beef ribs are um, they're the short rib variety. Uh, this is uh, four bones as we can see here. Um, and uh, what I've already done is I trimmed some of the fat off the top uh, for her here uh, just to make it a little bit better uh, and easier for her to do. Um, but this is going to allow a better rub application and a better crust overall in the end. Uh, so, yeah, why don't you go ahead and we're going to layer on that which done here is we've taken our truck beef short rib and uh, we sous vide it for 24 hours at 160 degrees uh, and then immediately after we took this and put it in an ice bath and uh, shocked it and then uh, let this sit in the fridge overnight and uh, here we are today ready to uh, smoke our beef uh, chuck short rib so what Tina's gonna do here is uh, she's gonna open up the bag and uh, then we're gonna dry it off with uh, some paper towel um, and the reason why we want to do this, we really don't want a wet surface on the uh, rib itself. Um, the reason why is because we're, we're trying to get a crust on it. And uh, this thing isn't sitting in the smoker all day like it normally would. Uh, we're really going to give this a couple hours uh, just to get the smoke flavor into it and hopefully get a nice smoked ring as well.
<laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. It's perfect. The freaking bite on that's crazy. Oh my god. It's <laughs> just perfect. It's like meat butter. <laughs> That's what I was saying earlier. Like the fat just liquefies. It's absolutely oh, it's nuts. incredible. Huh. Those are some mighty fine beef ribs, guys. Let me tell you. I hope you all get a chance to try those out. Super fantastic. Just like Dave was saying. Meat butter. But if you like that video, hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit the comment down below. We'd love to hear your feedback. As always, the instructions and exact ingredients are down below in the description. Also, make sure you check out www. Dot josephq.com for all of our secret rubs and sauces. Thanks again, everyone. <laughs>